The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten. He wears a hooded sash, with a silver hat about his head, and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. I know the hot topic is Marcus Mariota versus Derek Carr right now, but I want to talk about something more important. No matter which quarterback is in there, the Raiders won't win much giving up over 30 points per game. As you saw, the defense wasn't any better in their Week 15 matchup with the Los Angeles Chargers. You didn't expect them to be, did you? Sure, there are four starters out on that Raider defense and defensive coordinator Rob Marinelli didn't have time to make any improvement on a short week. I don't think he's capable of doing so anyway because he doesn't have the personnel he needs to successfully run his Tampa 2 scheme. He doesn't have Derek Brooks at middle linebacker, Rondé Barber at corner, and John Lynch at safety. He doesn't have Warren Sapp at defensive tackle and Simeon Rice at defensive end to rush the passer either. Instead, he has two young corners that are better in press man, linebackers that are better in man coverage, and a young D-line, so hopefully we are waiting until the end of the season to hear who the Raiders' next defensive coordinator will be. Those that want to give Marinelli credit for the Raiders stopping the run last Thursday, don't. The Raiders were solid against the run all season before giving up back-to-back 200-yard -back rushing games. 2020 free agent pickup Nick Kwiatkowski woke back up with 10 tackles. He showed he's still stout at the point of attack. He can go sideline to sideline. Disciplined enough not to over pursue. Corey Littleton showed up a little too, showing his speed to get to the ball carrier. And showing good gap discipline here. Since he's not the biggest or strongest linebacker in the world, he slides through his opposing offensive linemen to make the play. I gotta give some props to Carl Nassib too. After being inactive for a while, he showed up in the run game himself. But it wasn't all great for the Raider run defense. They gave up this big run to Austin Eckler, This one to Justin Herbert toward the end of the game. Now we go to third down pass rush, which was nothing special for the Raiders Thursday. Herbert has plenty of time here, but his receiver just drops the ball. Here the Chargers pick up the Raiders stunt. Here Herbert gets rid of it quick. And here he just has plenty of time. And here comes the P.I. Coverage is going to bail the Raiders out on this third down attempt. Here's a third and long. Herbert gets plenty of time to convert.
Here we get a pressure from Arden Key and Herbert is unaffected by it. Here he's going to get out of the grasp for Chris Smith to complete the pass to convert. Here, Herbert's going to simply run away from Nassib. So most of the time, the little pressure the Raiders got on Herbert didn't affect them. But there were a few times that it did. And their one sack by safety, Daryl Worley, came on a third down. Now let's look at the big plays like this touchdown. The Raiders bit on the play fake here. Here's a pressure by Max Crosby and Herbert's still going to drop a dime for a touchdown. An early pressure isn't as impactful as a late pressure. Here's another one by Crosby but Herbert gets out of the pocket and does his thing. has all day to throw and force his pass interference deep down the field. Now Herbert's gonna get hit on this one, but he still has all day to throw before that happens. And that set up the game winner right there. The Raiders still can't handle when receivers are stacked or in a bunch. And they can Continue to give up third down conversions and coverage as a result. And Kwiatkowski, who's been great in coverage all year, couldn't handle tight end Hunter Henry. First down. Now what's he doing trying to run across the field with the receiver? I don't like this coverage. That drop is the only reason why the Chargers didn't convert that third down. You guys already know how good Kwiatkowski has been in coverage all year, but Henry wore him out. But I'll take the result of one guy just being better than the other that night. Trayvon Mullen, the team's best cover corner, didn't even have a good game that night. Can't let receivers throw him on the ground and catch the ball like that. Oh, we got Keyshawn Nixon with good coverage on this third down stop. Mullen really got the grabbing last Thursday night, and the referee made sure to drop his yellow handkerchief. That's what you call a third down bailout. Now we have Daryl Worley on Henry on third down and the denial. Now somebody please tell me why Nixon was on him. Cause he got tossed up. If you're not really good at running a cover two defense, you shouldn't run it cause two beaters will beat it all day. That hole is too big. Here we got third and long, and here comes another two beater. That's a little too easy right there. After getting a couple of third down conversions with it, why not try it again for a big play and a touchdown? Here we go, more zones so you know the receiver's gonna sit down and catch the ball. Here comes a little matchup zone, but Eric Harris doesn't execute it right. He's supposed to cut underneath that for the interception. 
Now we have two linebackers covering one tight end and no one covering the running back. Nothing has changed about the Raiders there. Well, you know it's not the Raiders day when Mullen keeps getting flagged. Something went wrong here. Everyone's blaming Nixon for getting beat to put the Chargers in position to win the game. But as usual, Harris isn't on the back end like he's supposed to be. Everyone else in the secondary is running a cover two zone, so that's probably what they should be running. But even if it's man, Harris is supposed to be over the top. Nixon isn't Deion Sanders. You can't leave him alone like that. That's the kind of stuff Marinelli should have been able to fix on a short week. Carr has all the arm talent in the world. And he can run a little bit too as he's been showing this season. Meanwhile, Mariota seems to have shaken off his injuries and got his arm talent back. When he's in trouble, he can escape the pocket and make throws like this. And he can make plays like this. That battle doesn't matter until the Raiders play better defense, and that isn't happening under Marinelli. Thank you for watching. See you next time.